How's everyone doing tonight? Has anyone played Sonic so Adventure the before? Let's get him! I absolutely love this game. I know it like the back of my hand, honestly. Uh, let me just bring my laptop over a little bit so I can see a bit clearer. Yeah, just enjoy this intro anyway. With some really, really weird animation because uh, it was only the Dreamcast and Sega didn't entirely know what they were doing with regards to 3D characters and animation at this point. So it is a little bit funny to, uh, to look at these days. Let's see if I can make the chat. Oh yeah! This is happening! Does it say that I'm playing Sonic Adventure? Because I'm here, I can see that it says Diddy Kong Racing. What's up? Let me just make sure I've changed it to the right game. There, if I can spell. Okay, halfway there. For some reason, OBS didn't change the name of the stream. You are completely surrounded! Adventure. Surrender yourself! There we go. Now the stream should be updated. Now I should be actually playing Sonic Adventure. Look Not Diddy Kong Racing. I'm done with that game. Ready, fire. After all those fights with this one. Oh no! Our weapons are useless! Retreat! All personnel! Fall Hopefully back. you can't hear the game through the microphone. Oh, I can yeah. hear it. This could be fun! See what I mean about the weird animations? I do love it though. It definitely has its charm. Hopefully everything looks okay on the capture because I'm using the OSSC. And it's not a big fan of 480i games. So hopefully it's fine. Here we go. It feels weird holding a Dreamcast control on game. And if anyone's played Sonic Adventure DX, you can probably already instantly tell how much nicer the lighting is in this version. There was a lot of weird things that Sega did wrong with the uh, GameCube version and later the PC version. And the PC remake, which was based on the uh, hey, I'll play with you DX some other time. And there's kind of a running joke in the Sonic community where basically every re-release of Sonic Adventure gets worse and worse, which is pretty funny. <clears throat> Let's see if I can turn that out in the middle. Come on, you big drip! Where yeah. you going? I really need to get a better setup for streaming. As you can see, my actual desk is behind me back there. Let's go and find out where Chaos went. You can't go down there, Sonic. You know nothing, fool! It's Chaos, the god of destruction! <laughs> he found that funny. Oh my god, I forgot how long the loading times are on the Dreamcast. And you can't hear it, but the disc scratching in the console as well. It looks really nice and clear on the CRT that I'm playing on there. Huh? Hopefully it looks alright on stream too. I think it does. Hopefully the frame rate's okay. What? Tails? Watch out! You're oh gonna no, crash! Tails is gonna ah! crash! Tails! Not again, now, Tails. What am I gonna do with you? Let's go and rescue him. There's something cool they do with the VMU as well. You probably won't be able to see. Maybe a triangle it right. We'll get to that a bit later on, but you can raise your chow creature in the VMU like a little Tamagotchi, which I always thought was really cool. 
So I've actually put some batteries in here. So uh, whenever I get around to the Chow Garden, I can actually try it out properly because I've never properly done it like that, looking after them. That'll be really fun. I just, I just love everything about this first level as well. The, uh, the aesthetics, the music, the uh, obviously the, the bit with the giant whale that chases you. It's just so good. And it controls so well too. I don't know how Sega manages to make every subsequent Sonic game feel worse than the last one. Like, they nailed it on their first attempt. They don't need to change anything. It controls exactly how you'd expect a, a 3D Sonic game to feel. And in every game after that, for some reason, they always make the physics different. And, uh, it's never felt quite right since. But imagine seeing this back in 1998. My mind as a kid was just blown at how good this looked. Coming from Mario 64, only two years before it. And seeing the massive like, leap in, uh, in graphical quality. Ah! There's a really cool shortcut you can do on this level too, where you can um, do a very specific jump. I've never taken so long on this stage before. I pretty much know this whole game like the back of my hand, so I'll try not just to uh, speedrun it and to actually, you know, play it as it was intended by actually exploring a lot more. Here is the, I'm not going to do it, but there's a really cool trick here. If you jump just at the right time, you can actually skip all of this section out and go straight to the back, and you can just see there in the corner. It feels kind of weird playing a, a modern Sonic game these days without um, the light dash. Hey, I ignored that annoying light. Jump on panel number one. It will take you to three and four. Here's the end of the stage. Just the end of the stage. There is a little bit of popping, but it's never really bothered me. You can even see the uh, the tails and the wreckage there just coming out of nowhere. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. One level complete. Did I actually post this anywhere? Yeah, not bad. <laughs> no, I didn't. There we go. I've really got to find out how to do that automatically. I thought OBS did, but maybe since I've changed to OBS instead of Streamlabs, it didn't pick up. Hey, Sonic! Long time no see, huh? Or well, maybe it was my I'm first. just glad you're okay. I'll do something wrong. I'll wait. What happened anyway? You're too good of a pilot to just crash like that. That was a test run using a new prototype propulsion system. It's got a few bugs to iron out. Why not just use my plane, the tornado? I think it's live. OBS seems to have bugged out so they've only been live for nine seconds. Ta-da! Oh. Whoa! A Chaos Emerald! Yep, I just happened to find one of the Southern Emeralds during one of my test flights. This thing's got unlimited power, you know. So I figured, why not use it to power my plane? Supercharge! You gotta come over to my workshop, Sonic. I've got something I've gotta show you. It's in the Mystic Ruin. The fastest way is by train. Let's go! Let's go to the Mystic Ruins and find out what Tails has been working on. And I love this bit as well. I love going out of here into the city. You know what else is really cool? You can actually, I don't know if they're here yet, you can speak to the people here and depending on what's going on in the game, 
They will actually change what they say. I'm glad to hear the little fox pilots in that plane were safe. Yeah, just go through the hotel lobby and to the right. There's the door to Station Square. I'm sorry, but I overheard the conversation. I didn't mean to. And then when you come back later, they'll like, remark on things that have happened in the game. Did it say anything? Whoops, sorry. I feel great. There's nothing like swimming pools and the ocean in the summer. I agree. Um, I think this is the right way. Out into the main square. <coughs> the other side takes you to the casino, if I remember right. Here we are, this is Station Square, referenced in several other Sonic games. And you have the train station right there. You have the entrance to Twinkle Park there, which we'll get to later on. And in the sewers there, that's where you can come back a bit later on and get power up. And you can open this door to go to everyone's favourite stage. I can't remember the name of it now. Ah, what's it called? The city one. The ma everyone's favourite city level. Speed Highway. That's it. And you can't go down here yet, but that's where you find the uh, everyone's favourite burger guy. But for now, let's go in here. And get the train to the Mystic Ruins. The train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. I might see what these guys say. I've never really spoke to anyone before. I always just run straight there. I'm Mr. Know-It-All. Here's a tip. When you jump, it makes a big difference how long you hold down the button. Did you know that? Whoa. He's telling the truth. Finally, Station Square. I'm going to the beach, the casino, and Twinkle Park. What are they doing? This is the centre of Station Square. If you want to go to the Mystic Ruins, take the train. Only a real adventurer takes a trip to such a remote place. Even that's the, even though that's the only stop that this train goes to. Look around, the train's packed with exhausted people. But look at me, I'm full of energy. Does he look full of energy to you guys? Not really. Let's see what this guy has to say. I have never, ever spent this long in the hub. This is pretty funny. Low pay, hard work, what am I doing? Oh, a customer! I'm sorry, Station Square Central. This train's heading to the Mystic Ruins. Let's get on then. I always like to try and spin the camera around there as well to get it to go inside the train, but... Not this time. <clears throat> also, I apologise if I keep clearing my throat. Hay fever's been playing up, or I've got a cold coming, or something. But I'll get through it. I was too excited to put it off for another week. So this is the Mystic Ruins. Let's see what this adventurer has to say. We're the exploration party searching for the ruins. I'm still new here, so they don't, so they don't let me go very far. He really didn't get anywhere, did he? Look at him with his binoculars. He looks kind of sad, don't you think? Poor guy. There's also like a weird viewing platform down here, but it doesn't really do anything. You can just stand on here. Anyone watching? Do you know if there's any point in coming down here or not? I've never done anything down there. It's always just a random platform. The train headed for anyway, Station Square. Will let's go and see Tails. Soon. His workshops up here. So you have to fight Eggman first, of course. <laughs> here if he it is. Isn't Sonic. Look, it's a giant talking egg. Silence. I am Dr. Robotnik, the greatest scientific genius in the world. Whatever you say, Eggman. Enough! I think this is where Eggman came from. The, uh, and now I'm gonna put the them to work. Sonic You're always up to no good. Now what do you want? I want all of the Chaos Emeralds. Better not interfere, or else! Of course we're gonna interfere, or else there won't be a game. Or else I'll take them from you by force! The hard way! The hard way in the easiest boss fight ever. I don't really understand what was going on in that cutscene. He just flies around and he comes straight back again. So, boss number one, the Egg Hornet, and some of his very famous lines. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 
systems full Ooh, power. That's all you really need to do in this fight, just do that three times. Yeah, I love Sonic's uh, spin dash in this game. It works so well. It just looks really cool too, don't you think? Full systems full power. Ah, he's not gonna get away with this! There you go, there's another one of his classic quotes. The camera goes a bit crazy when the dog goes. Full systems, full power! Apparently in the Dreamcast version, Sonic actually has a different run cycle. So, you see how his shoes are kind of still all one piece when you run at full speed? In the Dreamcast one, hey, it kind I'll of uh, blurs it, time. so it looks more like he's running with kind of a motion blur effect. Which is pretty cool, I don't know why they changed that. But yeah, overall the Dreamcast version is much more stable than the GameCube one. <coughs> I never really understood how they managed to make it so much worse. Alright, now that's done, we're going to go and talk to Tails and get the key to go to the second stage, which is Windy Valley, which is definitely one of my favourite levels in the game. <coughs> well, that wasn't so hard. Aha! The Emeralds, no! Oh, no! Get back, Tails! Come on, Chaos! Time to eat! Chaos? Chaos. If you're playing as Knuckles, you get a oh, special second stage Chaos fight, but you don't get in any of the other characters' places. I do plan to do all of them. Hello, Cold Fuse! Welcome to the stream. First time as well, welcome. It's Thank you. The stone tablets predicted. Glad to have you here. <laughs> his strength increases every time I feed him a Chaos Emerald. Hence his With name. All seven emeralds in him, he'll be invincible and work for me. Together, we'll destroy Station Square. And on its ruins, I'll build Robotnik Land. The ultimate city, where I will rule it all! Come on, Chaos! Let's find another emerald, shall we? Sadly, not the first time I had to make another Twitch account. Oh, what happened? Sonic! Have you been naughty? can't let him get away with this, can we? No way, Tails! Without more emeralds, the monster can't transform, so... It's up to us to get the emeralds before Eggman does, huh? Ooh, yeah, let's go get the emeralds. The first one is right up here. And you have to pick this up. This is Tails' workshop, by the way. You come back here a bit later on. There's his logo in the corner. And you can also go on the roof. But let's not do that now. Let's get this. And there's the runway. This bit opens up, which is pretty cool. So we need to take this into the cave down here. I think it's this first one, if I remember right. Nope, that's one where the uh, Chow Garden is. It's one of these, is that where I just came out of? For some reason that opens the way to the second one. Before we go in there though, I wanted to speak to this guy outside and find out what he has to say. Why is he standing there? I saw this weird plate in the cave and scrawled on it in ancient writing was the word wind. Uh, it's just a, a hint in case you don't know to put your key on there. <coughs> Hi. I can't do it properly, I've got a sore throat. Another one of my favourite levels. I love this stage so much. It just screams Dreamcast. The aesthetics are just so nice. 
like, when I think of the Dreamcast, this is what I think of this level. So bright, so colourful, and for the time, so exciting to see the 3D graphics and how cool they were and just, you know, how much stuff's on the screen. And for some reason, back then as well, I just had this weird obsession with floating islands in the sky. I just thought it was a really cool aesthetic. And then we get the really cool music for the tornado section. Head straight up. You should be able to get out of the tornado. They kind of redid this idea in Sonic Jump 06. On panel number one. one. It will take you to panels two and three. Jump as soon as you land on a panel or else you'll fall. So I have low heads. Hello. Yeah, apparently that first bit was supposed to be longer, and people have actually uncovered a, a beta version of this stage, which actually has a longer first section. Because this last bit is just kind of like a roller coaster. But it's still fun. And it's got this amazing music. You can kind of cheat this stage and just jump off and land a lot further down. I'll play properly. Ah! Oh, that was close. I almost went up the edge. If that was modern Sonic, I would have just flew straight off the edge and not been able to turn around. that really awkwardly. When you play this stage as Tails, it's fun just to completely skip all this out. He has loads of things in the sky that you can do stuff like. Oh my god, look how bad the pop-in is. The Dreamcast can't handle this crazy crap. I have no idea what the camera does there, it just freaks out. And it always does. There's the emerald. Get some more rings first. Nearly got 300. Yes. Hmm. Right, Casino Zone next. Casinopolis, I think it's called. Maybe my least yeah, favourite out of the Sonic levels. I always find that one a little bit slow, a little bit boring. You basically just have to get enough coins in order to raise the uh, room in order to get the emerald. It's a nice idea, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go back to the Mystic Ruins first. So that's basically all we can do here for now. Later on you come back and this Station bit collapses. Square will be departing soon. I never noticed that, but you can actually tell that the texture changes on the rocks at the bottom that stay there compared to the one at the top. That's pretty funny. There's also a fight here later with Knuckles. And you can go in there to get to the Chow Garden. And I don't know whether it's worth doing this now, but you can press that switch and get a special egg from behind there. I'll come back and do it later. Just so you know, it exists. We'll do that when we've had a look at all the Chow Garden stuff. But for now, let's go back up here. Head back to Station Square. There we go. Can I get the camera inside the train? Nearly. I think I was on the outside of the train. Yes, this is Sonic for the Dreamcast. There it is. Sonic Adventure 1! Classic game. Amazing game. And you can see the little chow walking around inside the controller. Oh, can you? Yeah, there he is. Bring back the chow garden! Sega, please! If anyone's watching. I go to the casino every night. 
Cool, thanks for telling me, random lady. Shall we go there? I believe it is through here and then through the other door on the right. Or you can go up here and see the chains. Don't say anything stupid. Does that say don't say anything stupid or don't say anything stupid? La la la, we're in love. Should we go up and have a look at the chains? I think there's one in there. I just had a spam call. There they are! Hello. Look at him! He's so happy! Look at the VMU you can transfer him onto as well. I've never properly done that much with the Sonic Adventure 1 Chow Garden. It's always the Sonic Adventure 2 one that I've got more time into. Maybe we can maybe we can do something. We can come back later and uh, drop some food off for you. Have I left in the right way? <coughs> I forgot the loading's kind of slow. Oh no, I don't want to be here yet. I can't take a chow for a race if I haven't trained them. That'd be terrible. Straight line. And I'll try not to hit any of them on the way out. There we go. The Chow Garden's kind of basic in the first Sonic Adventure. They really fleshed it out a lot more in the second one. Which I've got here, if you can see that. When I'm done with the first one, I'll move on to that one. Yeah, I need to um, I need to go up here and get the light speed shoes. Or, no, what do I need to do? I need to go in the sewers and get the light speed shoes. This is a bit hidden away, and I remember the first time I played it, I was kind of stuck here for a while. No, that's where you come out. I'm still confused, even as an adult. We have to go this way, and go into the sewers, and go to the other end and get the light speed shoes, and then come back again. I remember what I'm doing. And we can, right, we need to go down there, but let's go and see whether the burger guy is here yet. There he is. You can, um, oh yeah, I got an emblem. You have to take him somewhere and put him on a switch and swap him for an egg, if I remember right. Is it in here? Yeah, here it is. <laughs> so you got to pick the egg up and that puts the shutters down. And then you replace the egg with this random guy. Oh, it didn't work. It's just the statue in front of the dog shop. Oh, what do I have to do? Does anyone remember? I thought you had to put his statue on there to get the egg. What do I need to put on there? A different egg, maybe. I was so sure that's what you needed to do. Never mind. Let's go and get the uh, speed shoes. <coughs> Does anyone remember how to get that egg? There we go. First power up. Now you've got light speed shoes. Press and hold the action button to store up power. 
Once you have enough power, release the button and you can do the light speed dash. It's kind of a weird the light speed, speed dash. dash let you race toward rings at light it doesn't speed. really work how it does as in the game. As long as there's a trail of rings, you can go just about anywhere. <coughs> Sorry. You actually have to charge this one up first, so you do that. Ready. And, you charge. Ready. and then you can fling yourself up. We're back in here again. And now it's got even darker. And if you recognise this place, this is where we fought Chaos right at the start of the game. Let's see this guy has to say. I've got a feeling like someone's staring at me. It's not going away. That's because there's a lady staring at you. I set a new record. I got so close this time. Oh my, I'm totally in love. Every time you come out of the levels, you'll be in a different place. The day is done and work is over. Let's hit the casino. Let's hit the casino where we can. Yeah, I love this music. Tell me if you want me to slow down as well and speak to everyone. Usually I completely speedrun this game and just go point, 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 but it's supposed to be an adventure. Maybe I should pretend I don't know what I'm doing. I guess when you speak to people, they just give you a small anything. My mum went in the casino, but hasn't come out yet. Yes, I have. So you have to stand on this here and you can charge your... Um, Special thing that I can There's a row of coins. Go! Or rings, should I say. It's not Mario. <coughs> level 3. Again, not a huge fan of this level. It's a little bit boring, if I'm completely honest, because the pinball sections go on way too long. You don't need to do the pinball bits, but they're probably the best way of getting money. Um. I'll show you what you need to do, like what the aim of this level is. So you need to collect enough rings to fill this room up here. So eventually everything down there will get filled up. And then you can jump up there and get the animated. And this can take ages. And you can get a few rings by hitting those slot machines here as well. But the way to get the best money is to not go in the shower. Right here. We see the pinball table. And we get a Knights into Dreams table. I was so excited the first time I saw this because I've always been a massive Knights into Dreams fan. And it made me really sad that there's not an actual Nights into Dreams game on the Dreamcast. But as you can see, the uh, the physics aren't exactly the best. Uh, that is to say, they are completely awful. I just think Sonic Team doesn't know how to do pinball games because even in Frontiers, the uh, physics for the pinball table in that game are just awful as well. I don't know how they can mess up so badly, over and over again. And I'm really not doing very well. You can tilt the table by using the analog stick, but... It, look at that physics, they don't make any sense. Now we're going to fall down into the sewers and we have to get out of the That was awful. That's probably the worst I've ever done. Whee! There you go, there's a good use of the light speed shoes. You can get more coins just from doing this a few times. <coughs> there are some spikes on this one if I remember right. Again here you can charge up your light speed and avoid all this. 
And get some invincibility as well. And you end up in the showers, which I always thought was pretty funny. And he can, uh, he has a little shower animation. Which I always used to enjoy. Sorry, Tails. I just hit him out of the way. 200 rings. Off to a good start. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go and deposit them before anything bad happens. So, that's the idea. You come in here and press that switch. And it'll pick you up and spin you around. And drop all the rings off. And you just need to do that over and over again. Let's check out the other pinball table. There are some other things you can do as well. Like there's a bit... Um, oh, the power room, right? There's a bit you can do further up as well. It's easier to get to in Knuckles. Um, in knuckles down there. And the Tails version of this is just a straight up race to the Let's throw the card on. Oh, this is a nice one. There is two different tables. Oh, well. Let's see whether we can actually get to that Nights and Dreams area. Can't remember what you need to do. I think you just need to line up three of the same cards. If the physics are on my side, there's no point really trying to aim the ball. It's not like actually uh, Sonic Pinball for the GBA, which is really good, by the way. If you want a great pinball game, definitely check out Sonic Pinball for the GBA. I was really impressed. And if you like Nights into Dreams as well, there's a whole section of that game dedicated to Nights. Yay, I got something, at least. I'm trying to shake the table to get that last one there. It's not working. There's no aiming at all. Like, usually on pinball, you'd be able to, like, aim by hitting it sooner. But it didn't seem to make any difference. Just always going straight up. Maybe I'm supposed to tilt the table at the same time. When you tilt as well, it just seems to just fly off in a random direction. Ah. Oh, here we go. Somehow I got into the other level. See if we can stay up here for a while. There's a lot more cards to get on this one. A lot faster. And if you shoot it in the right direction, this is where you get to go into the knights area. Hopefully, you'll be able to see it because it's kind of a, like what if knights was on the Dreamcast. That is what it could look like. I'm so sad that Sega's kind of disowned the Knights franchise at this point. Although there was an interview recently with um, Takeshi Yuzuka, maybe? Or, I don't know his name, but the guy who uh, is working on Sonic Superstars. To say that maybe in the future Sega might revisit the Knights series. Sonic Team's been on a hiring spree, apparently. So that's a good sign. Fingers crossed. Here you go. You get to see it now. Look how nice it looks! Why couldn't we get us a Knights game on the Dreamcast? I mean, it doesn't really look that different to the Saturn, but it looks so cool! The colours, the atmosphere. Oh, I really wish it was real. Right. I'm just going to let this ball go now so we can move on with the level. And you can see the randomness of the uh, of the tilt there. It's kind of annoying that you have to do this bit every time. Hey, Gone Mad Train. Thanks. 
so I'm glad you enjoyed the Smith video. I wish I could have included some more gameplay footage and stuff, but like I said at the start, I literally had one evening to make that and then I've been away all week. So I'm glad people enjoyed it. I've had some really nice comments on that. And yeah, when I hit my next milestone, I'll probably do the same for the N64. Let's take a different path. Let's see what's over here. I don't think I've ever been this way before. Ooh, there's even more rings this way. Yeah, I was saying at the start of this stream, I'm glad that I've got no immediate plans because every single week and weekend I've been away recently. So, be glad you got anything for the past month, basically. I've been so busy. So I'm glad things are quieting down a little bit. I say that and things are going to get booked in. But yeah, I just want to focus for a bit and make some videos that I've been really wanting to. And spend some time replaying some uh, some classic games I want to. I want to get two more rings before we get rid of them. Get another extra life. Yay! Where is the room to deposit all those things? I think that might be enough. I can't really remember how many of them. It may even help show you the way. That's enough. Yay, there we go. We can get out of this level. Probably my least favourite level. What do you guys think? Do you have a least favourite Sonic Adventure level? Or most favourite? Right, Ice Cap is next. I like this one. <clears throat> After going back to Station Square. I'm going to need a throat sweet. My th voice is going, if you can't tell. I don't know why, but I woke up this morning with a really bad sore throat and cough. This will keep me going for now as we move on to Ice Cap. Hey, to the gates. Do you want to? Do you want to know what I've spent your money on? Oh no, the chaos emerald. Nothing, because Twitch doesn't pay out until you get like fifty quid or something. So it's just sitting there on a little bar that's slowly filling up. Amen. <laughs> so I haven't seen a penny of it yet. But thank you for the support. I can't believe I've been doing this for a year as well. That's crazy. Sonic Adventure 2, that's next time. There it is. That's what we'll be playing oh, after man. we finish the first one. What happened to that emerald we just had? That's what we're playing now. Uh, I guess Eggman's got one of them. But the other one's safe. That guy must be desperate. That means his two to our one, and that's not good. Come on, Sonic, we need to get busy. <laughs> we need to get busy. We need to go and fight Knuckles. The train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing We need to go back soon. to the Mystic Ruins. I, I said I was going to slow down. Let's see if any of these characters have anything new to say. Once my work's done, I want to go snowboarding. It's a great feeling coming down from that mountain. Let's see. Who else is here? Let's go and see if that kid's still waiting for his mum. No, he's gone. Do you have anything new to say? Whoa, sorry. I saw something shiny in the alley. Oh yeah, before we go to the Mystic Ruins, we need the key to uh, open up Ice Cap, which is hidden right here. I don't know why it's there, but you need to take it on the train with you. And you need to, uh, for some reason, put it in a little bit that's... Uh, behind a wall that gets broken down as soon as we enter here for some reason. It's time to get busy as Tails. I was going to make a furry joke, but I won't go there. <laughs> there you go. For some reason, coming back to the Mystic Ruins knows you have the key and the wall just breaks apart. And then we can jump down here 
and go through there and put the key in the pedestal. Uh, if I can get up there. And then make our way to Ice Cap, which is a really fun stage. With the snowboard section that that guy at the train station was hinting at. Right, let's go up here. That guy must have been stuck there for a long time. Oh, it's already a fairy joke. <laughs> Never mind, then you beat me to it. There we go, and now we can go to Ice Cap. And later on we can go down there and see uh, the Master of Mold location. Oh no! It must be very cold in that water. <laughs> Stage 4, Ice Cap. Is it as good as Ice Cap in Sonic 3 and Knuckles? Maybe. There's one bit I don't like though, and that's the bit where you uh, jump around on the um, Stalag types. But the rest of the level's fun. And I enjoy the snowboarding bit at the end. This bit's a little bit slow paced, which I'm not a huge fan of. But I love the graphics in this area. Oh yeah, go on the rocket. Skip out that bit if I don't need to. I've never tried going up that way. Let's see what's up here instead. Oh, loads of extra boxes. Go anywhere? I don't want to risk it in case it doesn't go anywhere. No! That's what I get for trying to explore. I have to do the level again. Sonic Adventure, where the adventure is punished. I forgot how many of these sections there are. I only remember the snowboarding bit. Be careful not to fall off. Oh, maybe I shouldn't do a spin dash. Oh no! I, I did not. I did not heed his advice. At all. Right, patience, patience. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? I haven't looked at the throne yet. Give me a chance. I've been at work all day. I haven't even told anyone about it yet. How do you know? Editor. He wants me to get a bongo cat plush. I know that much. I've got to find a way of getting it to uh, integrate with OBS as well. That'd be fun. I'm scared to look now. I don't know what you've put on there. Be careful not to fall off. Okay, I'll be more careful this time. Use the panel to jump. It may even help guide your way. 
Oh, that's what happened before. Oh, no, 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 no. no more giant Pokemon. It's against the law. I love Sonic's one frame of surprised animation there. Ready for some awesome music? I've never been able to pick a single ring up on this section. How are you supposed to know where they're coming from? Whoa, there we go. You just have to stay on the sides. Ah! Oh god, that was close. Compare this to the snowboarding section in Sonic 06, if you remember that. That was horrendous. At least you can actually control this one. And it's actually fun. Okay. How did Sonic Team go downhill so much in just 10 years? Whoa, good job none of them trees have trunks. Okay. I blocked Sonic 06 out of my brain. I'll go back to it at some point. I think I've actually got another follower goal that says something about Sonic 06. Let's see if we can get all the way to the end here. Yay! One more! Yeah! There's the next emerald! Well, I refuse to acknowledge that. Ha, huh, actually I changed it to a thousand, so there. Another 500 to go. Now we go and fight Knuckles, if I remember right. Should be up here. There he is. Oh, why am I get work messages up, now? Knuckles? Something. I think about work. No time for game, Sonic. Give me the emeralds you have right now. What? Let's just see you take him. Huh. Come on, Knuckles, bring it on. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Give it your best shot. He really doesn't put up much of a fight. That's it. Knuckles fight over. Uh, oh, oh no! The Chaos Emeralds! Oh no, guess what's gonna happen to him? <laughs> now we get to fight a cooler, souped up version of Chaos. Ah, Eggman! Uh oh! Ha, like taking candy from a baby! Dun, 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 dun. That's a Chaos Emerald! That's right, fool! You made it all too easy! You practically gave them to me! Hold it right there, creep! You can't get away with this! Knuckles, don't tell me Eggman tricked you again! Me? What about you? Way to go, Knucklehead! Now, I have four lovely emeralds! 
Chaos! For some reason, this lake that you fight him in becomes like five times bigger. Which I always thought was a bit strange. It's like, do they go somewhere else? Or is he just kind of reimagining this area for the boss fight? I could never really tell. You'll see what I mean in a second. Oh, he transforms again! Man, no one ever cuts us any slack. There we go. Look how much bigger the lake the lake got. This is basically the first boss fight that actually poses any kind of threat. Because obviously you have to worry about not sinking. For some reason the water feels like jelly. I was never really sure why it acts that way, but you can sort of just pop off it. Which is a bit strange. Get me some rings, any rings? Or just one ring, that will do. No, I can do. We've been a bit impatient. Right? Yeah, I do not understand the physics of this water. It's like weird green treacle. Nor do I really understand what he's doing either. Like, just sending blobs out after me. Oh, he's destroying all my platforms. Not that I can really tell if you really need the platforms. Try to speedrun Chaos 4. Is there a speedrun tactic? It's definitely not what I'm doing anyway. Whatever I'm doing. This is like slow run. No, only one more hit and he's dead. Let's go and get them rings. Also, hello to uh, Carol Simis, I think. The chat's a little small on the table in front of me. First time chat, welcome. Oh, is he going to fire all these weird bubbles at me again? Come on, let me hit you. No. This is definitely not a speedrun. I apologise. To anyone watching this stream expecting a speedrun. You get the complete opposite. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. Yeah, it is weird. Like, the water does not act anything like the rest of the water in the whole game. Look at him now, he's just standing half inside it. There's the egg carrier. We'll be going there soon. But um, Tails needs to go and do his sky level first. Some sort of weird Star Fox style minigame halfway through. Behold my floating masterpiece, the egg carrier! Behold my very low quality textures. To the power of chaos! Adieu! Until we meet again, my friends! <laughs> Like it's very hey, awkward animation as it just Let's get to my moves along the X axis. Yeah, you guys go. I have some unfinished business to take care of. No problem, Knuckles. We'll take care of everything here. How are they suddenly friends now? Come on, let's get going. They have a common goal now. Now we can play as Knuckles. Or play with Knuckles. Hmm? 
Okay, anyway. Time to get the tornado for a really boring Sonic, flying section. You can literally just stay in the corner of this and not take any damage. I was waiting for two of the gates to say something. There we go, that's what I was talking about earlier. Tails' runway that he built into the island. A little bit extreme. I'm sure he could have just gone across the gravel. Be obsessed with all the uh, character songs in this game. Flying section part one. You really don't need to do anything, but obviously it's more fun to actually to actually play it properly. I forgot how nice and responsive the Dreamcast analog stuff is. It feels really good. Oh, I really wish the Dreamcast had done better as a whole. It deserved to do better than it did. Yeah, there's so many great games. Maybe I should do a another dedicated Dreamcast episode on the channel. It's been a while. There's a really big homebrew scene as well. Why is Two the Gates pretending to talk to Sarah? Retro Detox, hello. I'm on a level now where I can actually look at the chat and not have to worry. You've been binge watching the videos over the past few days. Awesome. What's been your favorite video that you've seen so far then? Well, what would you like to see more of? always happy to tweak my plans if anyone's got anything interesting they want to see. Unless it's homebrew. I'm kind of done with homebrew for now. I kind of got a bit burnt out doing so many homebrew videos back to back. Top 10s. The issue with top 10s is that I've basically exhausted every system that I like now. <laughs> so there's not really anything else I can do unless I just redo old ones. Yeah, I think I just did it again then when I looked at the chat. That's basically the end of the stage in there. SNES and 3DS game videos. I have a Hidden Gems 3DS video that I'm working on, but there's a few more games I want to try and find first. Oh, and I was also thinking of playing through Detective Pikachu at some point. Now that the sequel's been announced for the Switch. So maybe I could do a video on that. Okay, bye. Have fun on VR chat. Tails? <coughs> Tails? Is Tails okay? That's the second time he's crashed already. You're not who I'm looking for. Who are you, random kid? Oh, I wonder if he's okay.
Why are all the other characters so much more blocky? Oh, I better not go back in there, it might restart the level. Let's see if there's anyone here to talk to, like we did earlier. See if we've got anything, anything new to say to someone. <clears throat> Should I buy a swimsuit? I can't make up my mind. And the store's closing soon. Where's the store? Is that supposed to be a store? I think it's just a window. Reflecting in a weird way that goes sideways when you move the camera. You can pause my videos and admire the collection. Just watch my room tour video, then you'll get to see it all. You can't see anything from this angle. I done. I went to touch the camera that's turned off. Let's see if I can touch it. I don't know what's happened to the camera. Let's see, I might have a backup strat. That worked, I guess I'll come around the side of the room. There we go. Can you all hear me okay still? I'm presuming it's fine. Yeah. Alright, I can still see. Yeah, I think I knocked the um, knocked the camera over. It means I can't play it on the CRT, but never mind. I forgot what I was supposed to be doing, though. Yeah, never mind. I'll try and fix it later. You can all see me again. Hello, in better quality too, look at that. Super high quality. So, if I remember right, did we find Amy somewhere? Maybe I actually need to stop and speak to someone. What about the burger man? Does anyone know how to get the egg out of the burger place? Anyone who's watching, this egg here, you're meant to pick it up and do something with it. When you pick it up, the shutters go down. You need something to replace it with. But I can't remember what that is. And I 
I can't remember what I'm meant to be doing next either. I thought I was going to Twinkle Park, but maybe not yet. Whoa, just jump on that car. Can we go in there yet? No, not yet. I was pretty sure that's the next area. Please no help. What's wrong? Everyone at the train station's on strike. Sounds familiar. Why don't you try going to the casino? Try going to the casino. Okay. Is that where we find Amy? I remember Amy gets chased by a robot soon. Maybe that's now. Should we go and see how the chow's doing? Let's go and check up on the chow. I haven't got anything for you yet, sorry. Look at this big goofy grin. Put him in the water. Go for a swim. Learn how to swim. I do. He's not doing too well. to the chair races. Let's go back and do some more gambling. Yeah, the problem with the camera on the other side, it's only using a really cheap, like, Chinese knockoff of a cam link. Whereas this one is using the actual cam link. And you can see how much of a difference it makes. But, as you can see, the idea was uh, there. Sonic, I wanted to play it on the CRT, but instead I'm having to play it on, on the actual OBS stream. What's wrong with you anyway? Oh yeah, there you go. You can see my collection. This birdie seems to be in trouble, so you need to be his bodyguard for a while. You must be kidding! If you don't, we're just gonna tag along anyway! I'm not going to make any jokes about Amy. No trains are currently in service. Let's see if anyone's upset because they can't get home or anything. There's no one here. Wait, there's someone. It's evening already. Rush hour will start soon. I should just go home. That's all he has to say. What about these two? Oh no! As soon as the sun sets, I will automatically head this way. It's not my fault, my feet have a mind of their own. Oh my god, she's found out she's an NPC. My mum wandered into the casino again. Whoops. I think your mum has a problem. What about these two? Are they still madly in love? La la la, we're in love. She said something different though. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. What about this guy? Is he telling you about the chairs? I'm the hotel manager. Call me if you need anything. By the way, the best place for a date around here is Twinkle Park. Yes, that's where Amy wants to go with me. Should we go there? We get some awesome music in Twinkle Park. It's actually a remix of a really cool song in Sonic 3D. Uh, which is just over here. But Amy gets chased by a robot first which we'll see in just a second. I don't know why Sonic's walking so fast there. Yeah, on the loose. No problem. He's just a chunk of cheesy hardware. Whoa. Oh, now what? Huh? Look here. Last throat sweet. Wait. Oh, my throat's gonna give up on me. Oh man, that girl is such a pain. I'm gonna have some backup white chocolate chip cookies. That's for later. Mm. 
Twinkle Park. Yay. Enjoy the music. Ready for the race? Whee! I think this is such a cool idea for a level. I want something like this in real life where you go on a bumper car down a crazy roller coaster track. Why has someone not invented this yet? I'm not sure how this really counts as having a couple's night. You only get a card to yourself. You can't share it. It's a bit dangerous. If they fell off the end there, they would just float off into space. Or more likely into a, a building that's designed to look like it's in space. Now we're on an actual roller coaster. Dun, dun, dun. They kind of revisited this in the Asteroid Coaster in Sonic Colors, which I really enjoyed. Yay! I don't get what the point of trying to line up there is, because you can do that however you want. Let's get some animals for the chains. I don't know why he was so squashed. Whoa, I just went straight through it. Okay. Can I go back? Oh. I just think I didn't go anything. Wow, what a waste of a shield. This is where we have Big the Cat's level, which we'll get to soon. Ow! I shouldn't have stood so close to them barrels. And again! Should we see if there's anything in the water? I've never really had a look around here at Sonic, I've always just ran straight past it. Is there actually anything here? There's lots of animals at least. And weird robot monkeys. I want a robot monkey. There's some rings. An actual water that resembles the physics of water, not like the weird water in the lake. Anything back here? I've never been on this side either. I wonder if there's a way of getting on that pirate ship. Maybe not. Not from here anyway.
Imagine trying to do this platforming in any modern Sonic game. Wait, or classic Sonic game. I take it back, everything I've said about the controls on this game was a lie. It's still just as awkward. Oh my god. And he's laughing at me. I've never been this way before either. Why am I trying to explore so much? If I wasn't on stream, I would have finished this level by now. I feel like there must be something over here. Else there wouldn't be a path. The camera really doesn't want me to go this way. Uh, maybe you loop around there. The camera keeps wanting to spin around. Okay, let's go where the game wants me to go. designed this fun fair with random springs and the in the roofs of the buildings. Whose great idea was that? Oh, it's finished. I was really enjoying that stage. Yes. That one could go on twice as long and I wouldn't complain. Yeah, not bad. Someone from Sega. Not Eggman. I don't think Eggman had anything to do with any of these levels. They already existed. They just existed in the time. Welcome to Twinkle Park. Oh, shoot! Oh, I've lost shoot. Amy. I bet that robot hauled butt after her. I'd better catch her before it does. How 90s is that? I bet that robot hauled butt. Did anyone ever say that? Even in the 90s, did anyone ever say that? I wasn't looking. I don't know where I meant to go now. I found a sub game. Okay, we get to do the race again. Let's see if we can beat four minutes. I think we can. I'm an F-Zero expert. And an expert in the karting game from Sonic Adventure 2. Because of the requirement to perfect it in order to get all 180 emblems. Which I almost did as a kid. Not fine. I have to say these hover bumper cars control a lot nicer than the karts in Sonic Adventure 2. They're really awkward to steer. You can actually use the brake properly on this. If you use the brake on the cart, you just go flying from one side of the screen to the other. awesome rendition of Sonic's theme tune as well. I'll try not to fill in the gaps with the, with the lyrics. You'll get to hear it a bit later on anyway. Here we 
go. Oh, not yet. I was ahead of myself. I was ready to jam out then. We're going to finish the lap before it comes back. I always hit the wall there. Yay! I think that was good. I got a bit better each time, so I'll take that as a good sign. We get something for it too! Yay! A new emblem. Okay, I'm not going to do it again though. <coughs> now I think we get to go through that door that I was talking about before. To Speed Highway, which is everyone's favourite level. Welcome to Twinkle Park. I think we do. We do that now, if I can find my way out of this place. It's a little bit cramped in here. There we go. Someone dropped an ID card out of the sky for some reason. It just randomly appeared out of the sky. Or maybe someone threw it out of the car. I can use it to get into that building. Not that one, this one. That's how ID cards work. You just walk up to the shutters. No, Sonic worked here. This is really weird. That's like the fastest transition between one level and the other. Go straight into this one. Enjoy though, because this level is awesome. I'm excited to play it again. And the music's awesome too. You can cheat there and just run across it, but I'm scared. I'm gonna do it a little bit better this time. Sonic Generations had a great version of this level too. See what's at the top. In classic Sonic fashion, always take the top route if you can. Oh no, don't get hit by the blades. I always make that mistake. For some reason, I hitch a ride on the back of a helicopter. Oh no, get the speed shoes. Ding. And then get stopped because you gotta go up on the rocket. Here we go. Now we get to use the speed shoes. Whee! Dun, 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 dun. Oh no! Okay, we're not taking that shortcut. Ah! Why are all the police after me? Ready for a Sonic Adventure 2 style run down the side of a building. This one's a bit shorter though, and longer. Ah! Yay. You can get all the extra rings if you pick that up. Can you not take them out? Ah, uh, die. This is a weird bit of the level. This was really made for Knuckles. Knuckles can play around here. But as Sonic, it feels a little bit messy. To me. I get it. It's kind of cool that you get to actually do the level version of the bit that you get to walk around in the hub world. But it does feel a little bit all over the place. Ah. And it's easy to fall off. 
And the police are just insane. Like, leave me alone. What have I done? I haven't done anything wrong, officer. Please. Why don't you believe me? Let's get some it. I guess it doesn't matter if I get any extra rings. I've only got ten. There we go. What an awesome level though. Love that stage so much. Yeah, not bad. Yay. And of course, in classic 3D Sonic fashion, all the levels have different challenges for you to do. On the second and third playthroughs as well. But I won't be doing all that on stream, I'll just be going through it normally. <laughs> gotta go back again. Lots of back and forth. See how much smaller that section is now compared to how it was in the level. I think this is where you went to go anyway, if I remember right. You see Eggman's ship Amy? flying off. Amy! Oh man! Where can she be? Where did Amy go? Ah! Sonic! Help! I'll cut him off at the Mystic Ruins! Because the robot's so slow, I have enough time to go and get a train to stop him. Go. What does everyone think of the actual adventuring sections in Sonic Adventure 1? Do you like them or do you like the fact that they stripped them out entirely in Sonic Adventure 2 and they got rid of all this story stuff? Hey there, bolt brain! You better get Amy to me or I'll squash ya! Do you like the exploring? and finding the keys to the levels and talking with random people? Or do you like the straightforward adventure in Sonic Adventure 2 more instead? Hey, what's happening here? I quite like this one. It feels like more of a proper adventure, like an RPG almost. Oh no. Sonic, help me! Shoot, I lost her again. I didn't see where she went. Is it? The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. I know at some point you go through the end of the tunnel up here. I can't remember. I don't think it's now though. But let's go and see what's over there anyway. Oh, maybe it is now. Or if not, at least you get to see this area, which I really like too. Oh yeah, can I not get through there yet? There's a power-up that you can get that allows you to attack things in cages, but maybe that's later. Oh no, it's right there. There we go. This is the ancient, ancient light. light. Try the light speed dash toward the enemy. With this, you can now do the light speed attack. It's still really slow to use. I think all this does is unlock another chow garden anyway, but we'll go there. I like this one more than the normal one. Ready? There we go. For some reason, destroying that monkey opens up the gate. Oh, this is going straight to the stage. I did go the right way. Red Mountain. Another stage that I associate more with Knuckles than Sonic. There he is, flying off into the distance.
I really like this level as well, though. Another one of my favourite stages. I know, I've said that about most of them. Ow! Why do you have blades? Why do they actually hurt me? I thought they were just a suggestion. Oh, is that all that was? I thought I was getting an extra life. Sometimes I don't trust this camera. I know, I need to go and hit the switch. It's not very hidden. It's literally on the other side of there. Whoa! Why didn't I stop moving? No. Oh my god, my first death so far! I had 21 lives! Oh my god! Okay, let's be a bit more cautious this time. Okay. Skip that whole section out. I'm scared to stand on the floor because I remember some bits collapse. Uh. Whee, zip line. I was always really impressed by the scale of this stage. It just feels really big and grand. Set me on fire. Ah, this bit's kind of annoying. I don't know why these platforms exist. They're only just there to slow you down. Ah, there we go. There's more. That bit kind of reminds me of Nights into Dreams a bit as well. That, um, Level on the construction site. If anyone knows what stage I'm re referring to there. I'm waiting. Now we get to go inside the mountain, which is another really fun section. With some funky music. And now the speed choose music, which is also really funky. Oh no. Oh well. If I die, I just replaced it. Just let me hit the box. Hey, it was worth it. 40. I wonder if I can use that new light attack there to... Uh... Ow. Stop it. I was trying to test something. How dare you? I'm going to try and use it on these guys. I don't know what these guys are anyway. Have a look in there. What? What are they? They're like the... 
weird polygon fighters from Smash Bros or something. Why have they been locked up? What are they? Does anyone know? Why is that one completely different to the other two? It's just been squashed. There we go, we can use the light dash here. No! I forgot to go and give the animals to the chain. Whoops. Is there anything over there? Just two platforms that go nowhere. Weird. Maybe they have some reason to be there. Oh, I'm sad that level's over too. I want it to be longer. Yes. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> I see how Two of the Gates found out about Throne now. Hey Sonic! Emprix! Hello! Good evening to you. How are you doing this evening? Do you like how Sonic's plane defies gravity? Goes down, flies straight up the side of the cliff. Let's go, flying stage number two. Or sky chase, shall I say. Physics are just a suggestion in this game. Look how his plane moves. No aircraft known to man can do these manoeuvres. Again, you don't really need to do anything. You can just stay right in the bottom corner there and just wait for the entire game. Or you can have fun and just spin around in circles. True, I've never actually seen a biplane fly in real life, so maybe they can. I mean, Sonic Team must have seen it to get the inspiration right. I'd be very disappointed if I get a chance to go on one and it doesn't behave like this. And where's all the lasers? I don't even think you get anything if you 100% it. So, so far, so good. You know what you're doing. You Watch it. Transform! <laughs> is it kind of bad that Sonic Adventure 1 is probably Sonic Team's most competent game? They went downhill from day one. No, oh, well, actually, wasn't Nights into Dreams their first game? Uh, I'll be back in a second. I'm going to go and get some water. In the meantime.
There we go. That didn't take long. Yeah, I really love this game though. Especially the Dreamcast version, which is uh, slightly less janky than all of the other versions. It definitely has the most stable frame rate. Unless there's some mods for the PC ones that I haven't played yet. And the lighting's a lot better on this version, for some weird reason. Ah. I don't even know what I'm hitting most of the time, I'm just letting the arrows fill up. Yeah, I saw there was a mod to kind of revert it back to the Dreamcast version as much as possible. Which is kind of funny that fans have to do that themselves, because Sonic Team doesn't know how to make a competent port of the game. I don't understand how it gets worse and worse with every re-release. It's like, why are they picking the worst version of the game and just building off that? Wasn't it the same thing that happened to all the future versions of um, Resident Evil 4 as well? Where they based them all off the worst PS2 version. <clears throat> My chair is happy. You probably can't see him. Uh, look at him. I'm going to put a new one in there. Soon. I really wish they would bring something like that back. Imagine having a phone app that you could transfer the chow onto and take him with you. The technology's there, Sega. Do something with it. Let's go find Amy. Nice landing tails. Why didn't you put any wheels on it? Whoa. Okay, I didn't mean to go down there. Hopefully it doesn't matter. I think it reset him up there anyway. There's some really loud birds outside. Hopefully you can't hear them. Get a load of this. Oh, wow. Tails his face then. Oh, wow. Darn. This makes it harder for us to get to the bridge. I hate it when he doesn't listen. <laughs> I bet you weren't expecting this. The only way you can get to me is through the sky deck. I doubt if you can figure this one out. <laughs> oh yeah? Well, I'll show you. Bring sky deck's a fun stage too. I'm looking forward to this one. This must be the way to the sky deck. Whoa, really? I doubt you can figure out how to get there, Sonic. You can't walk in a straight line. Eggman really underestimates me. Whoa! Sonic's a genius. Screw all that slow shuffling to the side. Enjoy more awesome music too. Whee. 
Oh, I wasn't sure if I would get that then. Why give me the speed shoes and put obstacles in the way the whole way down? I hate it when they put speed shoes somewhere that you can't use them. Or like invincibility in the older Sonic games right next to places where you have to go really slowly. I swear they do it intentionally. Or they're just incompetent level designers. Or maybe a bit of both. Can't really remember where I'm supposed to be going now. Just up. And don't get blasted by the cannons. Again, physics are only a suggestion. I don't know how Sonic can hold on to a flat wall like that. Don't question it. Oh, can I get back up? Yes, that was close. There's probably a much faster way of doing this. That seems safe. Hang on to all these item boxes that I keep breaking. Why are his cannons so weak? Why can a little hedgehog just blow them to pieces in one hit? These days, they would have turned that section into a proper bullet hell shoot em up section. Right. This bit I always used to have trouble with. You have to be careful not to fall down because the floor starts collapsing. Let's see whether I can make it in one go! Oh god. Oh no! Oh no! I always struggle there. some more speed boosts, that seems to be working better. Uh, yeah, I made it. Made it in two. That was easy. <laughs> no, where am I supposed to be going now? Okay. Uh, I haven't got any rings. Hello. You okay? Yeah, my... gave me five subs. Five subs? Yeah. Wow, someone give me five subs. No. Why did they... Who was that? Someone you know or... Oh, awesome. Thank you. Wow, that's cool. Are they someone famous? Where did they... Not someone you know before. That's cool. Uh, my camera broke. That's why I'm on this side of the room. I need to order a new cable, I think. Do you want to say hi to everyone? <laughs> Yay! Enjoy the stream. Follow Rusuchu on Twitch as well. You don't have to Can I see him? I Can you see Skittles? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this 
zoom in on the doggo. Yeah, I can't see him through the microphone. There he is. There he is. Good boy. Now hold this. <laughs> oh no, he's killed me! <laughs> he actually did. Yeah, if you're offering something more interesting than water. We got Perry. Cherry Pepsi. Cherry Pepsi sounds good. What did Skittles do? He nearly killed me. Hey, uh. Invincibility when you actually do need it. Oh, we're back here again. Oh, we're gonna do all this again. Thanks, Skittles. Yeah, Golden Retriever. Ah! He was, um. He was just having a training lesson before he came home to start streaming. Be more careful this time. Oh no, Tails got left behind. I need to get on that somehow. Oh my god, I'm doing so badly on this level. <clears throat> I think I've got stage fright. I never play it this badly on my own. But did you give your dog the controller? That's the question. I hope these don't change direction. No one. <laughs> that was weird. I almost missed the spring then. Sat there being adorable. That's what dogs dogs are for, isn't it? Although mine sits there and gets on my nerves more than being adorable. Uh. Don't hit me with all the random rubbish that's thrown down. Oh, I don't think you need to worry there. It just goes past you anyway. Yay! Checkpoint. I want to see someone speedrun this level, because this is a really long and complicated level. There must be an easy route through it. Don't know what that does. Why am I upside down? What's going on? There's the finish. I didn't know what was going on there at the end. All over the place. Yeah, not bad. There we go. You can see me again. Yeah, I need to get a new cable for my camera. I think the cable broke. I was sitting over there earlier. Uh, where's the CRT? Can you see it? It is still on. Is that it? It might be, but let's check out the bridge. Good evening, Alex on the fly. How are you doing this evening? So we have a look around Eggman's ship. I don't think you can go anywhere really a Sonic. The hot shelter entrance is closed. I know you can get to a little swimming pool area. Which I always like to go into as a kid. Can't remember how you get that way. Could be through there, maybe. No. Oh, maybe. I don't remember this. You have to spell Eggman. I think this is optional.
He has to relax somewhere, right? I think it's in here. Is it? I can't remember. Is this going to take me to Eggman's secret pool? Yes, it is. Yes, it is, apparently. <laughs> is it? It's taking me to a loading screen. Let's see. Was I right? Was I right? No, it took me to another chow garden. I can drop off all the animals. I don't think I've even got one yet. There's an egg. Um... It's just a floating... Looks like a missile. A crash-landed missile. Um, the chows crashed here. And they're from space, and that's why the chows exist. Because he's a nice guy. So these weird things. But they, they they must be nice, like they set up little parasols and sun rangers and stuff. Yeah. Or maybe it's part of Eggman's base, because he does have this thing up here as well, whatever that's for. And there's another egg there. I don't know, I've never thought about the lore of the Chaos. No. It's best if you don't think too hard about Sonic. <laughs> Is that it? That's his, it's his satellite dish. Well, I think all these animals are going to go to waste because I haven't got anyone to feed them to. Shall we hatch an egg? No, oh, no! Well, he's going to be a water chow. Where did it go? There he is! Oh, I'm not even allowed to go and get him. Oh, I am. I might drain though. Sorry! Come up here. you want to become a gorilla. Or a skunk. Perfect. The ultimate life form. The mix between a gorilla, a skunk and a parrot. If I can pick him up without flying everywhere. Ah! Where's he gone? Oh no! Why is pick up and spin on the same button? Look at him, isn't he adorable? Shall I see if I can put him in the VNU? Let's see how that works. He's going in. Copy failed. What's wrong? Is it because there's already something in there? How do I get that one out? What's wrong with it? Do I need a different memory card? Don't know what's wrong with it. Oh well, I'll try later. Maybe I can fix it. For now, let's carry on. <clears throat> Where do we go now? If I remember right, you have to go back outside. Somehow. On that thing. Sonic, you solved the puzzle to my Sky TV room. Sonic! Ah, 
It's the bit from the thing where you leave the game on the title screen too long. get to play as him a bit later on in the game, which is fun. All these fights with the other characters are stupidly easy. Look, what? How is a fight like that this far into the game? Honestly, the ones in Sonic Adventure 2 are much better. Enjoy the music. wondering why I'm bouncing around I'm trying to make the camera fill the space you must have your as I'm not using the one I was expecting to be using there we go yeah that looks better don't have that black bar at the bottom anymore oh no The captain's room. Is it in here? Hey, here's his swimming pool that I was telling you about. I love this place. I was like, I want a spaceship where I can just come and lounge around by a pool. And I like the little sun loungers that look like weird spaceship things. You can get in there later on, if I remember right. And there's a seat that comes down out of the ceiling at some point too, but apparently not yet. <clears throat> Unless I'm forgetting something, it's been a while. Where's that going to take me? Are you going to let me in? If I'm to continue, I need to change this ship back to its original shape. There must be okay. a switch somewhere on the bridge. I've got to find it now. I don't remember where it is. Tell me, Amy. Are you okay? No, I'm lost. Is that all she has to say? What about Tails? They're not panicking much, though. <coughs> Anyone remember where the switch is? I don't think I need to be down here, do I? The ship is losing altitude. Oh well, just go inside and look around a bit. I don't think I'm meant to be inside. 
I don't think there's anything to do in here, is there? Oh, is that a switch? Not for Sonic, maybe that's something that Amy presses down. Let's go back outside. I thought I remembered this game off by heart. Not quite. Maybe? I don't remember this. Ready, go. Is this where I'm meant to be? Uh, maybe? Just gone this weird, weird ass chair. Oh, I'm supposed to go behind it. Uh, let me off. Apparently that is the secret to transforming his spaceship. You just have to push his chair out of the way. <clears throat> Emergency alert has been cancelled. Resuming monorail operation. What a very strange design. Which way is the front? Is that him? I think I saw Big over there. For some reason, this is the first time you, that you see Big in Sonic's story. How strange. And giant chaos. Oh no! Not again! Chaos? Could this be the same beast? <laughs> oh yes! Attack Sonic! Now! Froggy? I must say Froggy! Everyone's favourite character. If he's your friend, I'll help you. Just leave it to me. <laughs> now I have six of the Chaos Emeralds. There's only one more left to find. I even found Chaos's missing tail. You won't get away with this, you madman! I will! You're no match for Chaos, even though he's not perfected yet! Okay, Chaos, destroy them all! Immediately! Is this fight actually going to be challenging this time? Chaos 6! What happened to Chaos 5? Again, we've got some awesome music going on here. Uh, if I remember right, you're supposed to pick them up and put them inside its mouth. Oh no! Uh. I need to make some space. Oh my god, why are there so many of them? Did that do anything? No way! I can't believe this! That did something, apparently. Uh. No way! I can't believe For some reason, eating the fish that he sends to you freezes him, and that hurts. Explain the physics behind this. Or <laughs> the logic. Why would Eggman send me fish that are poisonous to the thing that he's sent to attack me? I like the fight though, it's interesting. It's not just a run around in a circle until there's an opening kind of thing. <clears throat> oh no. I might actually run out of rings. I can't believe this! 
Yay, I did it. That was actually close. Phew, that was very bad. Some very bad gameplay there. No, there's only one more, well, two more levels, I guess. There's Lost World, and then there's the final, final egg level, I think it's called. I can't believe this. Sonic. Hey there, Knuckles. Glad you finally made it. I thought you got lost or something. Until we meet again, Sonic. Stop. Come back here. Sonic's got his whole spaceship. <laughs> Just claim it. Instead, he jumps to his death. Sonic's clever. Now we're back in the Mystic Ruins. Do we get to explore the cool history stuff? I hate Eggman. Where's this? There's a hidden emblem somewhere in here as well. I always loved this part of the game. I just thought it was so cool. Like, whoa, there's a giant pyramid in this in this jungle. It just feels exciting to explore it, you know. Like there's something weirdly mysterious about it. That light. I think it's trying to show me something. Should we go in there? We have to do a really awkward bit on the back of a stone snake, which I always hate. Let's go and see whether we can find that hidden emblem first. It's uh, in a little hut somewhere on one of these side paths. Shall we see what this guy has to say? Let's do a bit of adventuring. No matter how far we go, the jungle never seems to end. When we entered the jungle, I could have sworn I saw them. Where could the ruins be? Right there. You're not far. Is that the same guy? There's the hut. Is this where the emblem is? Or is it just a random hut in the middle of nowhere? With a post box that goes all the way through. Great design. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. Or maybe it's on a different character's story. A bit later on we get to go down here as well into Eggman's spaceship. Right, should we go and do the level? Rather than wasting time in the ruins. Let's go! Lost World! No relation to the Sonic game, Lost World. I always remember this bit on the box art for Sonic DX on the GameCube. Improved by the power of the GameCube. Here's a worse version of Sonic. Ow! Oh yeah, no relation to Jurassic Park either. Oh, 
Well, maybe there is, and we just don't know. Maybe, maybe the writers of Jurassic Park played Sonic Adventure. No, this is the bit I find really awkward because look at how broken this is. No. Not just that, when you do land on it, the physics are so bad. You just sort of slide around on his back and it's all glitchy and horrible. Let's try again. Press this switch to raise the water level. Uh, I don't want to get too far back. Everything about this is so weird, like the way he sort of clips into the back of the uh, snake and the way you sort of move around really awkwardly. Whoa, too fast. Here it comes. <clears throat> At least we don't have to go far for that one. The next part of this level is a bit weird too. I'm always so scared that I'm going to slide off it. Is this where I'm meant to be? I'm still missing one. I'm still missing one. Oh, it's over there. On its own. Yay, there we go. There's all three. No, we have to wait again. You can see why I don't like this stage. This stage is weirdly more fun with Amy, if I remember right. Uh, I want to get off that snake and never go back. Another classic scene from the box art. Oh, I almost fell off then. Oh yeah, now we have to do this annoying bit where you have to line the mirrors up. It's difficult to tell whether you've lined it up properly as well or not. You have to aim it lower than you would think. Those arrows are moving weirdly slowly. And now we have a weird bit after this where you walk on the walls for some reason. Oh, not just yet. We get a normal part of the level for a few seconds. Oh, I didn't go anywhere. Oh yeah, we have this Crash Bandicoot style chase sequence first. The Sonic Adventure games love their up close into the screen run in sections. Mm. 
where you can never get any of the rings because they're all in really awkward locations. I don't understand what the point of this section is. Is there anything here? Or is it just a little breather before the main event? Or is it somewhere to get an interesting animal? Oh, there is something up there. How did we get up there? There we go. What is up there? This is the weird room I was telling you about. For some reason, you just have to press that a few times and then you can walk on these tiles. What is the camera trying to do? I don't understand how it's a puzzle though, because you literally just have to have to press it a few times. And wow, the camera hates this stage. Ah! And it doesn't know what to do with the uh, gravity when you fall either. Okay, maybe it is a puzzle, because that's not the right way to go. There's nothing up there. Let's get rid of that annoying lizard thing. Hello, Van... Van Ostongaya. Hello, thank you. We've almost finished Sonic Story. There's only one level left. Oh no! Oh, I'm gonna have to do it all again. No! Oh man, I hate this stage. And now everyone else has to suffer with me. Oh yeah, I need to press it a few times. Let's try again. I'm not going to fall off this time. Uh, it's a little bit scary. Ah, it's very scary. I just want to go there. I don't fall off that brick either. Or oh, the weird wall that's on fire for some reason. Yay, checkpoint. We can move on. Awesome, you're a big fan of Sonic Adventure series then. Are you sad there's no Sonic Adventure 3? Do you wish that Sega and Sonic Team would make one? Or do you think they wouldn't really be able to do it properly these days? Do you wish that the Chow Gardens came back? That's something that everyone wants. Are we out of here? Finally. I don't remember what this bit is. I'm not going back down there. Please let this work. Whee! Yay, we're free. I'm playing the original version, by the way, on the Dreamcast. In case you were wondering. And yeah, the original is the best version for some reason. The GameCube and PC versions had a load of weird glitches. And weird messed up graphics that don't look right. 
I wish Sega remade... I wish Sega made Sonic Adventure 3 and remade Adventure 1 and 2. Yeah, I hope so too. I don't know why they keep ignoring the series. They just want to keep doing new things all the time. A mural. It's chaos. In his final form. What do you class as Sonic Adventure 3? Sonic 06 or Sonic Unleashed? I know Unleashed in Japan is called World Adventure, which is kind of the same thing, but it's also a very different game. Yeah. Sonic 06 is closer to a Sonic Adventure 3. What's this place? Where if only it wasn't so rushed. This is really weird. Do you think Sonic 06 put Sega off making that style of game again? They're probably a bit scared, aren't they, really? After the reception it got. I always loved this cutscene and this whole section of the game. Like I was saying earlier, it makes it so mysterious. Like, whoa, what's going on? Oh my god, yeah, imagine if they did call it Sonic Adventure 3. I mean, they, they could have, the way it was structured and stuff. It, it basically is. I must stop this now! In later versions of the game, the, um, the lighting in that cutscene's all weird and messed up. Right, excuse me for a second. I've been eyeing up these cookies all night. So I'm going to have one. What was that all about? I don't think I'm dreaming here. Hmm? Eggman. Here you go. Well, help yourself. There's another three in the box. What's he doing here? Mm. Never mind. This time I'll oh, the internet's not fast enough to give you a cookie. Let's see if I can get to Eggman with one hand. Yeah, I remembered where he was. There he is. For some reason, he put this tunnel down for me to go to him. Enjoy this music. Whoa, look who's there. Easiest puzzle in the world. Final stage. The final egg. You prefer the Japanese dub and... English dialogue based on the Japanese version. Is there much difference? I have to be honest, I've never tried listening to the Japanese version. Is there any differences in how the story's told or anything? Or is it just like little subtle changes in phrases? Oh, it half worked. What's the point of giving me that attack and I never get a chance to use it? I remember enjoying this level, but the boss after the level is really difficult and annoying. Oh, these enemies are annoying as well because they have electric force fields. Sometimes. Ah! Oh no! Why did I feel like I was going to fall halfway through them? God damn it. That's only the second time I've died in the entire playthrough. But I'm not doing too badly. As a kid, I struggled even getting this far. 
Oh, I almost lost all my momentum then. I should have just kept running. Whee! It's like a weird F0 level. I don't know the purpose of any of these things. Whoa, too fast! Oh no. I've only got 32 lives, how am I going to get through this? Let's see if I can just land on that one. Am I just supposed to... Ah. I'll get another life back, there's one over there. You doubt that I can finish this in 32 lives. Now you've said that, I'm probably going to die <laughs> over and over from stupid mistakes. Why is that one so slow? <clears throat> I'm being overly cautious now. Thanks for making me doubt I can't get through here in 32 lives. Okay, okay. Uh, big jump! <laughs> there we go. 33 lives! I'll be fine now. This bit always scared me. I don't like these giant hammers. The same dialogue on the English dub than the Japanese dog dub. If I was a dialogue director, I would make the script mostly like the Japanese version. Well, I guess um, translations and stuff weren't as good back then as they are now. It was definitely an issue with a lot of older JRPGs too. But I guess with Sonic you don't really need to worry about the script as much. As long as you get the gist of what's going on. Where am I going? Why am I going down here? And then you go up in some weird alien style box, if I remember right. Let's get the rest of these rings, just in case. There's still more! That's all of them. Ready for a weird spider box? I don't know why I went all the way down there, just to get in this weird box. Emergency. Emergency. A very strange design for an elevator. Another one up. Another one! And another one! Oh my god, they're throwing out extra lives. Is there one on this side too? There might actually be. No, there isn't. What are they? How do you get over there? I can't get over there. Oh, there we go. I did get an extra life. Oh my god, I was only joking. Any on this side? No. Alright, we've cleaned up all the lives in that room. Now we can move on. Boom, 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 boom. I don't think you've got enough time to charge that up in here. I always like doing that. I know you don't really need to, it's just fun. There's the same kind of room in the end of Sonic Adventure 2 as well. With all them weird purple spiky things.
Oh, good job that door opened. I thought I was going to die then. Not yet. Let's see what's up here. More extra lives. Speed shoes. Will I get a chance to use them? They always seem to give me speed shoes in weird places. Again, I have nowhere to run. Oh, I do there just as they ran out. Can anyone explain the really weird speed shoe, shoe placements? Hey, it was a good job I picked up that lightning shield. And again, speed shoes. Where am I going to be able to use them? Nowhere. I got another life. Wee, I do get to use them. Woo, for a second. Boom, 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 boom. 10 out of 10 gameplay. Mash the A button. This is part of Gamma's level, if I remember right. Yeah, there's the Sonic Tails and Knuckles dolls. Oh no! I don't know what that does really. Is there anything else in here? Any extra lives for me? No. Okay, moving on. Uh, now we have to do the boss, which I really don't like. Be kind to me. I remember really struggling on the boss before. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. He's floating. I'm gonna sit back a bit. Let's try. Well, if it isn't my pal, Sonic. This boss brings back some bad memories. I remember getting really, really frustrated as a kid. Let's go. All systems, full power. I remember he says that a lot. Get a load of this! Oh yeah, and that... Get a load of this! My problem is I always get too... I always get too scared. Ah! Oh, that happens! Are you ready to watch me die 36 times? 37 times? Ah, there was nothing I could have done there. It just shot me off the edge of the stage. Get a load at this! Get a load at this! Ow. That's safer. Nothing can be as bad as... Uh, oh my god! Nothing can be as bad as Whizpig from uh, Diddy Kong Racing, which I played last time. That was... Uh, painful. Whoa! I forgot about that. This is also really scary. Instant death if you miss there. Or if you don't land on the right platform on the other side. 
Uh, Try and at least have a few rings left over just in case. And he's gonna fire his laser. We're safe. I never know how late you need to leave the um, home and attack there. Get a load of this. Uh, Get a load of this. Uh, quick, turn the other way. Get a load of this. Oh no! Uh, oh my god! Oh, damn it, I thought I was safe. Uh, it begins. All of these games that I play on Twitch, I'm always doing really well up until the final fight and everything falls to pieces. Oh god, I thought I just ran straight off the edge then. Get a load of this. Oh god, that was close. Get a load of this. Burnt his quills. Get a load of this. Ah, why are you doing it three times so fast? Eggman's gone crazy. <laughs> he has gone crazy. Look at his dance moves. Get a load of this. No, stop! I hate this so much. There must be an easier way to do this. Okay, oh, he's gonna fire his laser again. I can't go any further. No, make your bridge. <laughs> See if you can make it through here, Sonic. <laughs> Try and save some rings in case I need them later. Get a load of this. Get a load of this. Uh, is it laser time? I'm always so scared then, in case the homing attack doesn't work. Get a load of this. Get a load of this. At least it's easy to... Oh no! Oh god. At least it's easy to turn around. Now he fires something forward, if I remember right. I'm sure he fires like a disc or something at you at one point. That might be on the next round. Yes, we're halfway, more than halfway. Get a load of this. No time to get rings. Is this it? <laughs> you can stand on top of him if I remember right, yeah. Oh, that was surprisingly easy. I remember struggling on that too. Why did he do that? And he's made the platform shorter too. Oh, it's no use. Give up. You give up. We're nearly there. One more hit. My hands are getting sweaty. There goes another one. I'm scared. That's as far as I can go. Have we done it? Yay! Wow, that was a lot easier than I remember. Sonic Adventure complete. Sonic story, at least, anyway. Watch out. He's up to something. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. Oh! Ho -ho 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 -ho. Oh my god, look where I stopped. Hey, I'll play with you He's literally time. standing there on his tiptoes. If I'd have fallen off the edge, then I would have screamed. That was so close. <laughs> wow. Yay, we did it. That's probably the easiest finale that I've had on stream so far. Now we get to the listen to the awesome music. I'm hearing it out there. There you go. I'll try not to sing. There you go, in case it interferes. Yeah, 
Is Sonic singing? Is that why his mouth's doing that? Lip sync. I don't know why it awkwardly cuts off there. Yay, Sonic 1 complete. Yeah. This is coming from the OSSC. That might be why there's like weird artifacts in, in the lines, because it really doesn't like doubling up for ATI signals. I just put it on 2x line doubling with Bob deinterlacing. It's probably the best that you can get. I really want to upgrade to a retro tank uh, 5x at some point, so I can do proper 480i with uh, motion interpolation, interpolation instead of Bob deinterlacing, which is horrible. But it doesn't seem that bad on stream. But yeah, at some point I want to upgrade it. It's there, if you can see. Up there. Yeah. That box there. That box there. That's where it's going into. It doesn't matter now what happens, I will never give up the fight. I'm not singing. I have a bad throat. I wish they had this song at karaoke, though. Keep on running. I love the fact that they remixed it in Sonic Adventure 2 as well for Sonic's theme in that game. Doesn't matter who is wrong or who is right. I told you I wasn't going to sing, I couldn't help it. I hope you guys at home are singing along too. On the one you think is right! Matter now what happens, I will never give up the fight. I can't do it. <clears throat> I need to be drunk and in a karaoke room. Doesn't matter who is wrong or who is right. Just wait until I have to sing Big the Cats theme tune. Sonic story complete. I can probably fit in two next stream, so next week we'll probably go through Tails and maybe Amy? That's quite a short one.
Tales is this really short. It's basically just a few races with Sonic. But anyway, that's where I'm going to end it today. Thank you everyone that stopped by for the past three hours or so to watch me play through Sonic Adventure. Sonic Story. Hopefully I can get the camera fixed next time and I can be back over there as well. So that is it for now. Please go and check out YouTube and watch all my videos in the meantime and join me again here next Tuesday when we carry on our Sonic Adventure adventure. Until then, take care. Goodbye.